Installing a commercial shade structure requires careful planning and execution. Before installing, check with the local building department to determine if any permits or approvals are required. Ensure the area is clear of any obstacles and use the local 811 service to check for underground utilities. Depending on the shade style, different installation methods may apply. Installation methods and the sequence of steps may be different based on your knowledge, personal preference, and the equipment available to you. In this video, we'll focus on a single, embedded column cantilever umbrella shade structure with our signature glide inserts. Let's get started. Step 1. Dig the footing hole. After preparing the site, dig one footer hole where the column will be installed. The depth and dimensions of the footer hole are noted in the installation packet and are different for each shade. Step 2. Set the column. Place a concrete block at the bottom of the footer hole where the column will be placed. Add rebar to the hole per the installation packet's instructions. Next, place the column on the support block. Lock and brace the column to ensure it's level and stays in the proper position. Suspend the top piece of rebar and add rebar to the pre-drilled holes at the bottom of the column. Pour the concrete around the column until it's 6 inches below grade level. Allow the concrete to cure for a minimum of 48 hours. Step 3. Assemble the frame. Begin assembling the frame by attaching the cantilever arm to the column by bolting together the mounting plates. Next, begin assembling each rafter by inserting the tapered ends of the glide inserts into the non-tapered ends of the rafters. Ensure that the glide insert hook is pointing in the opposite direction of the rafter's welded bracket. Field drill holes through the rafter into the glide insert and secure with self-tapping screws. With the help of a team or equipment, lift each assembled rafter and insert it into the shade's crown. Attach the rafter's strut. Field drill holes through the rafters using the pre-drilled holes in the crown as a guide. Secure the rafters with self-tapping screws. Repeat these steps until each rafter is installed. Step 4. Prepare the fabric. Unroll the fabric with the hemmed side facing up. Mark the center point of the cable. Insert the cable ends into both the left and right hems of one corner and feed the cable through both sides until it exits at the next two corners, ensuring the center point of the cable hasn't shifted from the original corner. Continue feeding the cable through the fabric's hem so that the cable ends will meet at the last corner. When the cable has reached the last corner, both ends of the cable will exit the hem opening beneath the black webbing strap. Cross the excess cable and tuck the remaining cable into the webbing strap. Step 5. Install the fabric. Pull the fabric over the framework with the hem side down. Begin attaching the fabric to the glide inserts by hooking the fabric over the fabric hole and securing the cables in the cable guide, if applicable. Repeat this process on the remaining two corners without the excess cable. For the corner with the excess cable, hook the fabric hole onto the insert hook, then hook the crossed cables around the cable guide, if applicable. Ensure the cables are tight and secure them with cable clamps. Step 6. Tighten the fabric with the glide insert. Remove the protective cover from the end of each glide insert. Using a power drill or wrench, tighten all the glide insert's hex nuts to tension the fabric until it's snug. Be careful not to over-tighten the cable and fabric. Reinsert and secure the protective covers, ensuring the cover's hole is facing down. By following this video and the installation packet, you can successfully install a commercial shade structure. Remember to prioritize safety, adhere to manufacturer guidelines, and seek professional help if needed to ensure a smooth and successful installation process.